Don't stop. Don't look. I don't. Good evening, Scooter. How are you doing hey. tonight? Hey, buddy. Hey. Scooter, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you for being so generous with your time to, to bring yeah. your presence and share your, share, your, share your heart, your mind with us tonight. Thanks. You know, I was, just, I was just out fishing, so I wasn't really doing much. I'd like to give everybody a little bit of background of how we came to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. My wife, Carol, uh... She met you at a convention or whatever, That's and right. uh, you know she's into th she's into that spiritual shit. So, you know, I am by proxy, I guess. I love the way you phrase that into yeah. that spiritual shit. It's shit to you, hmm? Yeah. And what? yeah, it's that hippy dippy spiritual shit. Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. And I think I, I think the way that you phrase that <laughs> is going to make you right at home here in Explorations. Great. Wonderful. So listen, y y your, uh, your wife, she's a lovely woman. She's been one yeah. of our rising stars here within the community of Explorations. What about your wife's refinement, focus, growth, her, her, her process of ascension? What about being around that made you want to come on to exploration scooter uh, well if i'm honest she said she wouldn't cook me dinner for a week if i didn't come on here so that's why i'm here okay so just kind of to appease her she she'd be upset if you didn't come on yeah that put you in a pretty particular position did it not well most of the time carol's busy uh, reading her books on angels or whatever so when she's leaving through some new age shit about spirits and energy and chakras and Mercury and, and, all, and Venus and all that stuff, uh, yeah. that, which to be honest, I think I can agree with you. I know there are a lot of explorers here in the community, Scooter, that, that find truth or find something in there that edifies their soul. However, I must say what? myself, I think I, what, what? I, I agree with you. I think it's, I think it's bullshit. What's edifies mean? Edifies means sort of reinforce, strengthen. So a sort yeah. of, uh, you, you, so the, in the way that maybe if you were to, re, you know, redo, like maybe put, put some sort of support structure in the foundation of a building. Does that make sense? Yeah, like my deck. Yeah, like your deck. Yeah. Now, listen, you're exactly the kind of person that we all like to judge. Do you ever get that energy? Probably because of the hat I'm wearing. Yeah, what's the, what, what's the what's the deal with that hat? No judgment for me. Can you tell us a little bit about that hat and what that hat means to you, Scooter? It's my favorite hat. We got it at a rally. Oops. Wow, that's really inspiring. I think I know the answer to this, and I already agree with you, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Scooter, how do you feel about doctors? I don't trust them. Yep, 100% there. And how do you feel about vaccines, Scooty? Are you vaccinated, Scooty? Hell no, I'm not vaccinated. Hell no. Ha do you Tell have you any that. guns? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many guns lot. do you have? I got six guns. Two pistols, 22, shotgun, two guns I can't tell you about. Have you ever shot, have, have you, have you shot anyone? Can't talk about that. Now would it, how does it, you know, by asking you to be here and talk to us about such sensitive, passionate topics, Scooter. Okay, I shot my brother. Okay, though well, that was where I was headed. Okay, can you tell us about that? 
what what was going on? Did, did he did he make did he make fun of you or something or? We were out hunting. You just were you just fucked up and shot him? I may have had six beers, and I thought he was a gator, and I shot him. He's sort of short and fat. Maybe. Maybe did he have some sort of vitamin deficiency that would make you know maybe turn his skin a little bit green? He was an oily kind of guy. His name was Ray. Ray, tell me, tell me the the tell me some, tell me the first memory you remember about Ray from childhood, Scooty. Can you can you remember anything from childhood? Me and Ray were out in our we we're out in our boat, in our dad's boat, and we caught ourselves a shark, and that shark. When we pulled it into the boat, it bit off my last toe. And that's my first memory. You lost all the pinky toe. Such an early age. What a little trauma. piggy. And how did Ray react? Was Ray helpful? Was Or did Ray kind of find some way to be acerbic and negative? He laughed at me. The, the, the first one you thought of was the, where he failed you. I guess my, it was my dad that kind of failed me. I mean, my dad was let he led in the boat, you know. But did did your father laugh, or was it just Ray <laughs> laughing, giggling? Of course, my dad laughed. I wish I could have been your father. I wish I could have been your brother Ray. I wish I could have been a doctor nearby. Well, I feel a little bit lonely without my toe. But other than that. <laughs> I just, I just bury myself in, in work, you know. I just, I just gotta stay busy. I just gotta, I just gotta build stuff. I gotta distract myself. I gotta watch my Fox News. Yeah, it gives you a little club to be in. It gives you a little, yeah. It, it gets you. Little, it provides some sort of stability. Is it too much to ask to see your weird little, uh, the space where your toe was? I don't show anybody that. You gotta pay me. Have you ever watched the program here over your wife's shoulder, kind of just, just kind of, just kind of scanning around and being like, "What's going on?" Trying to figure it out. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you: Are you, are you, are you cheating on, uh, cheating on me with my wife? Am I having sex with your wife? Yeah. No. Listen, Scooter. As a man. Speaking to another man. I would never lie to you. But listen to me. No, I'll be 100% honest with you. I used to be a massive slut. I, a hole is a hole is a hole was my motto. Uh, I mean... Do you know what that means? Do God, you know? Do God if you need to do God or whatever. If, if God lives in your pants, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? What does God mean to you, Scooter? A place in his arms. And 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 you in your moments of of tension, of being lost, of feeling like there's no answer, your face pressed up against his arms, his sweat mixing with your tears, and you being like, "Oh no! I killed my brother." Is that what you sounded like when, when you uh, when you killed your brother? <laughs> right. <sighs> wow. <clears throat> wow. How long oh, yeah. did he die? Did you hold him, or did you kind of wait for him to die before you approached the body? Gator's gone before I did. Oh my god. You've been abandoned by Ray, by your father, and now by Jesus. How does that feel? Do you know Jesus personally? How do you know I'm abandoned by Jesus? That's a good question. Um, wow. Should you want to come back? Should you want to contribute your genuine energy here? I want to. I just want to plant that seed, and I want to talk to you about it the next time we gather. All right, Scooty. All right. 
It's 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 been uh it's been it's been quite a meeting. Quite a meeting between us. <laughs> I didn't have fun. I can tell, but that's okay. And not everybody always has to have fun. I can have fun, and that can be good enough. If you could address the right. world, which you are essentially doing right now through Twitch.tv, and just a message: What is wrong with this world? What do we, from Scooter's perspective, what should we all be doing better? I just want everybody to leave me the hell alone. That's all I want. I, I want people to stop moving into my neighborhood. Okay, so there's one. Stop moving into your neighborhood. Go ahead, continue. I mean, that's that's uh, that's really it. Okay. Okay. I'm just kind of leave you alone. Just leave you alone. Leave you alone. Just leave me alone. I want it to be like it used to be. I think you really stuck the landing on that. I think you. I, I'm just being honest. Well, bless you for that. I want to listen. I think <laughs> you really ended us on a very positive message, and I, and I thank you for that. Leslie. Uh huh. Stop writing my wife so many damn emails. I just respond to the ones she writes. Uh, are you reading all those emails? Faithfully yours, Leslie Tanner. That's not sexual. Listen, I was going to say this earlier. I don't have sex. I jack off. It's a spiritual practice. I can teach it to you. And do we have to be in the same room for that? No, definitely not. We don't have to. I mean, that's a part of the. I mean, that's a more advanced level of the program of jacking the jacking off program. It's called Alpha Sensuality. You for yourself. And we can be in the room, but that's honestly that's like level five or six. Are you done? done? You got anything else Don't left? Get me started. No, I, I need to go out back. This is enough. This is enough human interaction for me today. Honestly. Okay. Well, listen. Namaste to you, everybody. Thank uh, Scooter for being with us tonight. And 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 can we get some hand claps and some W's and emotes and what have you in the chat? And we'll take a quick break and be right back with you for an exploration. Scooter, thank you so much. See you soon. I'll see you soon. Thumb removed. <laughs> but the spot where the thumb used to be still smelled really bad. And so he was in line in front of me, the guy said he kept smelling where the thumb used to be.